Hello my love and welcome to your reading. Today we are seeing what the person on your mind is feeling about you. The person that you've been thinking about, the person that you've been having the feels for. Today we're going to see how they feel about you. Go ahead and pick whichever image you are drawn to and i will meet you at your reading hello my love and welcome to your reading i hope and intend all is well with you and those you love today we are going to go ahead and see what the person on your mind is feeling about you right off the bat this person has like a mix of emotions but ultimately they feel like they are divinely guided towards you they feel like you are magical you are otherworldly and there's definitely this energy of you coming into this person's life has definitely changed their outlook and changed their perspective about a lot of different things but they recognize when it comes to you that if they want to be with you or if that you guys were to get into a relationship, they recognize that they themselves would have to change. They would have to up level. They would have to do things differently, let go of some old ways of being. This is somebody that perhaps was toxic or they just grew up not really seeing proper or healthy love you represent healthy love you're not going to get in a relationship with somebody that's toxic that's gaslighting that's manipulating that's abusive in any way shape or form you're not going to do that and even though this person doesn't intentionally try to hurt people that's not what i get from them but it's just that because of certain things that they've seen or just the lack of proper examples in their life they have some sort of subconscious things that still need to be looked at healed and released before they could be in a healthy conscious relationship and because they've met you you have triggered these things within them you have helped them to see what they need to let go of what they need to release and this person at this time is definitely taking the steps there does seem to be a certain distance between the two of you but this person has stayed away for the simple fact of not wanting you to get in the mix <laughs> okay they're dealing with their karmic stuff on their own time and right now you are on a different path as well but the paths between the two of you shall merge if this person does what they need to do to ascend to be on your level and i can report at this time that they are doing what is necessary even if you don't see that so that's the good news how they feel about you they feel like you have grown they feel like you're really beautiful they feel like you're kind of out of this world like are you even real this person does recognize your spiritual nature there's something about you as well that's very heavenly or they feel like you are heaven sent they definitely feel like you are or were a blessing in their life you have caused them to have a spiritual awakening you have caused them to see things from a new perspective and a new light and they have gratitude for this whether they have expressed this to you verbally or not this is how they feel this person has grown a lot because because of you and because of your positive example they do feel like at this time you are worlds apart even if there's not geological distance there's vibrational distance this person like i said they're not really on your vibrational level at this time whoever it is that you are thinking about you are light years ahead of them vibrationally they view you as a goal and you definitely do guide this person with your light with your positive example this person is recognizing and realizing how much you have grown and evolved and it's inspiring for them because they feel like if you can do it they can do it as well so this is possibly somebody that you weren't really necessarily overtly romantic with but it might have went there or ultimately i feel like you are also a catalyst for a lot of people not just whoever you're thinking about but people in general tend to be very inspired by you as well as once they meet you they're 
consciousness is up leveled in some sort of way they start to have new divine ideas they start to see things from a different light or a different perspective that they didn't necessarily see or notice before so your energy your light your example naturally does that you're also very rare there is not a lot of people on the planet like you you're not alone but there's not a lot of people that carry and hold the same energy that you do babe so let's get back on track with the reading and see what the person on your mind is currently feeling about you definitely like you're otherworldly straight up that's how they feel they feel like you're very otherworldly and like you're not even from this planet you're out of this world <laughs> they feel like in the middle of the night you be disappearing and hopping on your spaceship and going back to your planet type shit there is a futuristic vibe here but they also just view you as very magical and dreamy very dreamy and there's some sort of paradigm shift they feel as well whenever they're with you whenever they are in your physical presence even if it's not often but when they are in your physical presence they feel like they have made a paradigm shift or they've gone through a portal or that they're in a new reality that's how they feel when they're around you in the physical they feel like things are new they feel like things are different they feel like things are positive or going in a positive direction this person definitely does feel guided towards you at this time and again that's why they're taking certain steps also this person has less consciousness than you but that doesn't mean they're like a fucking potato no that's not what that means but even if they're taking certain steps at this time they may not notice or recognize or realize why they're doing some of the things that they're doing in order to improve they might think that they're just doing it for themselves but really there's a divine orchestration going on here behind the scenes where you're doing certain things and they're doing certain things you guys are both following your divine guidance but it's so that you can come together in a union even if this person because everybody has free will even if they decide like oh i'm not gonna do this anymore this is too hard or this is too that they might fall off but god will have another replacement for the match that you are but at this time it's possible that you are definitely in a deeper hermit mode my neighbors are being ghetto outside i could hear them screaming um <laughs> sorry about that um it's possible that you are right now in a deeper hermit mode of peeling back more and more layers that's the kind of hermit mode you're in at this time as well as just in very high communion with god and just doing the things that you need to do for your soul like you're not really worried about the outside world at this time very focused on your soul evolution right now okay and that is for a reason so let's go ahead and get into it back to what i was saying sorry my i kind of lost track because of all the hooting and hollering that was going on outside but babe what i was basically saying is this person is doing certain things right now they might not even know or be consciously aware that the reason why they're doing it is in order to get to you they just are being divinely guided but it's like you are the light at the end of that tunnel of all the steps that they're currently taking okay so let's go ahead and see more about how the person on your mind feels about you see what it is what it is do lord have mercy these cards flying let's get it we have the ace of wands in reverse the queen of swords the magician and we have temperance all right so again they definitely feel divinely guided towards you they feel like you are an angel as well that you have served as an angel in their life they feel like you're very smart all right and you're very wise and again with the magician very magical like you might have told this person your plans or maybe you share law of attraction information with this person or spiritual knowledge with this person initially when you were saying certain things they might have looked at you crazy or been like oh my god this person is so woo woo like what the fuck and now they are starting to realize that a lot of the things that you were talking about are actually true they're starting to see things 
for themselves from that higher perspective this person used to think that oh my god you're so deep like when you guys would talk often 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 this person would think oh my god this person is so deep like sometimes it's annoying like what the fuck are they even talking about <laughs> and now they're viewing you from a different perspective of oh my god they were right all along all right so some of the things that you have told this person a lot of it actually because we have to start too a lot of what you have said has come to pass in this person's life or they're seeing it for themselves they feel like the spark is kind of gone with you though however just because you are literally vibrationally unattainable this person feels like you are unattainable you are free you're out here doing so many different things and they just feel like you know you're not necessarily focused on them which is the truth at the end of the day that is the truth but they are still very inspired by you they feel inspired by you and again they just feel like you definitely do have some supernatural qualities they view you as somebody who is very free a very sovereign being very smart they feel like you are also healed very healthy as well maybe you have a lot of healthy habits this person views you as very healthy and again not with the fuckery <laughs> they feel like you're not going to accept anything less of anybody and because they feel this that is kind of why they're staying away this person they suppress their feelings for you they suppress the passion that they feel for you they suppress the excitement they don't let it flow you and this person are also very different there's differences here and they feel like you are different from them but they're still attracted to you nonetheless because it's like you have what they need and in a way they have what you need to or at least at one point did and that's why that person even came into your field they taught you something as well but it's like you have now mastered the lesson and you're able to move on They feel like you don't care about them anymore. They definitely want to talk to you. Yeah, look at that. Definitely want to talk to you. And you don't have to force communication with this person in any way. Like this person will definitely come and reach out to you. They want to reach out to you. And the thing is, is that they're coming to you in order to learn. They view you as somebody that they could learn from. You are aiding in this person's transformation. And you're not only aiding in one person's transformation, whoever you came to this reading about. You're, like I said, aiding in everybody's transformation that you speak to. Your voice is very activating. Your voice is very powerful. Once you say something, once you point out something, you cause people to take action people follow your direction people take your advice and the advice that you give always leads people in the direction of peace so this person definitely does feel like your energy has definitely changed for sure um specifically towards them they feel like you're more clear on your boundaries maybe certain things that you used to tolerate or allow you don't allow that anymore or you don't give time and energy to that anymore and they feel like you are very comfortable being by yourself very comfortable being alone this person also hasn't heard from you in a while so also if they had you on social media and you stopped posting or you've just literally retreated like whatever you were once giving energy to you're not giving energy to that anymore you're pouring more into yourself or being a lot more intentional about what you're giving energy to in your life because at this time you are in a creation mode what everybody's creating is going to be different for everybody watching this video you all already know what it is but yeah they recognize that you're no longer giving them energy but they feel like you're at peace you're comfortable and they do feel this comfort and also knowing that they can talk to you but they also know that they have to come correct you can definitely expect communication from this person 
they also feel like they do want to communicate with you more interact with you more you're very beautiful as well they think this about you so let's get some more about what they feel about you they feel as well that there's a practicality behind what you're saying because before when you would speak to this person more often they felt like you were out of your mind or like you're just crazy it felt like there was no logic behind it but now because they're seeing things in their own life and they're seeing things from a higher perspective they realize that no there is intelligence there is knowledge behind it and it's like there's more they want more it's they're craving more so this person really values your intellect as well as your guidance heart to heart conversations okay like i said they're definitely coming and you are attracting this person in so this person feels very attracted to you they like that you're not all up in their grill they like the fact that you know you're to yourself you're vibing you're doing your little magical thing they like the fact that you're self-sufficient and you're good on your own they like the fact that you're not needy previously before if you were codependent on this person in any type of way whether it was consciously or subconsciously part of the reason why this person was running or ghosting was because they could feel that and they pulled their energy away now you've pulled your energy away the energy dynamics are shifting and it's causing this person to now come towards you so continue doing what you're doing continue not really giving this person any thought or just being in your own element being at peace with things you've made peace with the situation you probably could care less if anybody comes or anybody goes like you're good but just know that they are coming <laughs> okay and a conversation is coming and the conversation that is coming it's nothing to do with sex or the passion or lust it's nothing like that like this person when i say that they really want to speak with you that is what they want to do all right now whatever happens after that conversation that's between y'all <laughs> but they really want to talk so you don't have to feel any type of ways or get guarded about the situation. There is a lot of passion here. There is a level of desire for sure. But that's not this person's driving force to come towards you. All right. You guys have shared a past life before. But at this time, I feel like a lot of the issues are healed. This is not a karmic relationship. They feel like they could talk to you and express their truth. They feel like they don't have to be anybody else or they don't have to be a ma wear a mask. They could just tell you what they need to tell you and get things off of their chest. That's how they feel. They feel like they could be real with you. And they know that you're going to be real back. And they do feel like your energy is very healing. It's very uplifting. They do view you as a spiritual being a goddess they view you in that high light this person views you in a very high light for sure and right now they feel like you're very abundant as well they like how calm you are as well very calm and peaceful energy that comes from you this person also stayed away for a little bit because they didn't want to disrupt your peace there's a lot of layers to this connection okay we have the number nine and we have the number six these charms are either going to serve you as additional messages or confirmation please take what resonates and applies to you so within the next week or two you're definitely going to see signs of this person as well as most likely receive communication we have the letter u coming through we have n or oh actually this is a z could be your initials or theirs but i feel like these are two letters that are at the end of the alphabet so something is reaching its end and a new beginning or a new start is going to happen here. This person feels like you give really nice hugs. They feel warmth when they're around you. They feel good when they're around you. But they also feel like you are very much detached. But like I said, they like that. This is somebody that 
honors the fact that you know you're your own being you're sovereign you're free and they think that you look really nice being your free authentic self they really like that about you and it's attractive to them and that is the exact thing that is attracting them towards you this person again they do feel like you are magical there is an element of you being unattainable or like a mirage but again this person is going to make contact with you you are a light in this person's life this person feels like you are very positive you share that positivity and it's contagious not only with this individual that you came to the reading about but literally with everybody your energy is contagious my love this person does honor and like your work ethic as well they feel like you are always busy you are also really good at multiple different things you're a master at many crafts and they feel like you're also sweet there's a sweetness about you that this person recognizes and realizes and they feel like they want that sweetness towards them too okay this person definitely wants to cuddle or spoon or get a hug like at least a hug <laughs> they want to be in your presence again in your energy so this person definitely wants to come closer and they're taking the steps in order to do so they feel like as well that you have unlocked certain things within them that they didn't really know were there again your voice has activated this person in some way shape or form the things that you've spoken the things that you've taught them or just certain things that you've pointed out again you make people see things in whole new lights that they wasn't even aware of before at all so literally this person feels like you are a master key they also feel like they want to move in with you or just move closer to you in general and you shine bright in this person's eyes this person definitely views you as a star this person doesn't want to tie you down they enjoy that you're free but they feel like they want a moment of your time all right so that is what I have for you about the person on your mind. That's how they feel about you. If you would like more, definitely join the Sexy Palace, which is my Patreon, or get a personal reading. All the links are in the description box. Like this video, subscribe, <laughs> leave me red hearts down below if you watched all the way through. And I will talk to you later. Peace. Hello, my love, and welcome to your reading. I hope and intend all is well with you and those you love let's get it let's go today we are talking about what the person on your mind is feeling about you and your person just thinks that you're so pretty and so light they're very drawn to you they would pick you out of a crowd immediately your energy is so unique to this person they feel like you're one of a kind they feel like you're the only person they need and they feel like you're always new. You're always reinventing yourself. You're always coming with something new. You're always talking about something new. They feel like they could never get bored with you and that there's always something new, fresh, and exciting when it comes to you. They also feel a very strong need to guard or protect you because your energy is so pure. Your energy is so light. It's like they don't want anybody hurting their baby. <laughs> so this is like a guardian that the universe has brought into your life they feel like they just want you to play all day they just want you to run around in fields of flowers and then they're gonna take care of all of the nitty-gritty world stuff all right so this is definitely somebody that wants you to be free be happy they love when you're happy oh my god your your happiness lights whoever you're thinking about up they love when you are happy your happiness is their medicine <laughs> your happiness is their high and this person just feels like they want to take care of you they like the fact that you are more natural that you're into the earth you could possibly be a hippie <laughs> or you have hippie energy 
and they love this about you they just feel like yes do that be that and i got you i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna make sure you're good i'm gonna make sure nobody hurts you whoever you're dealing with is a very masculine man but they're wanting to provide for you so that you could just be your free authentic feminine loving life self because that's what they love about you when you're in that energy that's literally what be making their dick hard okay <laughs> They feel like you're a pure. They feel like you are super duper beautiful. They also feel like you're fertile. So this person, whoever's on your mind, they definitely want to have children with you. They view you as the mother of their children. They just want to do life with you. They want to create life with you. And they feel like you are the perfect person to do that with. So this person, best believe they're acting right. They're taking the right actions towards you. They're always going to make sure they're on your good side. This is somebody that you're already with or you're already close to. There doesn't seem to be separation here, but also um, getting the fact that things will be changing between the two of you. New seeds that have been planted will be blossoming. A lot of sexual energy here as well. So this person definitely feels very sexual towards you, but they feel like also your energy fuels them. It gets them going. You're definitely motivation for this person to do more, to do better to get right all right so you're definitely a positive influence in this person's life and they just love the fact that you are who you are and you don't give a flying fuck <laughs> like you're gonna just be you and you definitely bring light with you everywhere that you go they feel like you're super duper feminine as well and that's why there's this immense and intense need within them to like protect provide be your hero they feel like that because of how feminine your embodiment is and they feel like you're wise they feel like you also protect and look out for them but you just do it in a different way they do it on a physical plane level and you do it on the spiritual plane level so let's go ahead and get some more this person's literally viewing you as their other half as their good luck charm as literally a asset to the team that's how they're viewing you that's how they feel about you let's get it let's go let's see what's going on here if that intro didn't resonate with you if you're in some sort of separation situation or some kind of crazy shit going on where somebody's not treating you right this reading is not for you baby for those of you that that did resonate with proceed watching thank you for joining me <laughs> and thank you for allowing me to read for you let's get it let's go queen of pentacles they feel like you are very 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 connected to the earth perhaps you'd be calling this person out on their bullshit all right you've definitely shaken up their pride and ego multiple times they also feel like you are very abundant you have your own money you do your own thing and they still want to provide for you they still want to be the breadwinner whoever you're dealing with they do have a bit of a ego that needs to be stroked the fact that it gets stroked or you cater to them being who you are it makes them feel even more masculine it makes them feel even more powerful it makes them feel even better about themselves this person likes doing right by you because it makes them feel good about themselves like oh yes i get to treat this goddess yes like they like that shit You might have walked away from this person recently because you called them out on some sort of bullshit that you're not dealing with anymore. Let me get the full picture here. This person is still very much interested in you and whatever plans y'all had talked about before, they don't give a fuck if you walked away. They're still on that ass. Like They're like, yeah, I'm going to let her have her time. I'm going to let her have her space. But best believe they're watching you. Best believe they are still going to move forward with whatever plans they've been told you about or whatever plans that they have, whatever their agenda is. All right, they're going to do that. Their agenda is what I just told you. They want to have kids with you. They want to protect and provide for you. They want to always be the one that you call upon. Okay? So even if you walked away, even if you're doing your own thing right now, this person is still very heavily in your energy field. And that's why I said I don't feel like there is a separation here because they're on your ass. 
the lovers period that's how they feel about you they feel like you are their one and only so why the hell would they let their one and only get away and this is somebody who will stand on business and come after you and they don't give a fuck about it <laughs> genuinely don't all right so we have strength we have five of wands and they're ready to beat out any competition they're ready to go to war for you you know how we be saying as women let the best man win this man will be the best man i'm not gonna lie and that's because they are willing to do whatever is necessary in order to have you whatever is necessary you want me to bring you ice cream like whatever order you give you call the shots in this situation and it's not in a way of you like manipulating somebody or controlling somebody it's not in that way they just view you as their one and only and they're gonna do whatever is necessary to have their one and only they know you got options they like the fact that other people want you all right that also boosts their little ego that they got going on because they're like "Ooh, other people want my girl okay well i'm gonna be the one that has her and it's like you're the prize all right so this person they definitely feel like you are the the prize and they intend to win the competition they like the fact that there's competition they like that shit and it's like you're not even trying you're just sitting back in nature vibing doing your little money moves hanging out with your pets you're just chilling but you got masculine energies going in some sort of frenzy over you because of how dope you are also this thing about you being natural or you having this kind of hippie side holistic side that is very appealing people are drawn to you at this time and they're like i don't know what it is about her but i just like her okay and i feel like this is man and woman saying that they're saying that like i don't know what it is about her but i like her i'm drawn to her i like her energy spirit is saying that why these people they don't know what it is but they're like really drawn to you spirit is saying it's whatever you've been doing with your health your health is your gold and because you've been taking excellent care of your body excellent care of yourself excellent care of your health you're going to see this translate in a financial way you're about to have money pouring in out of fucking places you didn't even know money could pour from okay keep doing what you're doing you're doing amazing sweetie also keep following your guidance keep going where you're called to go right now you're called to move away from certain things whether that's people whether that's places whether that's food whether that's a job whatever you're called to move away from move away from it turn your back go because the reason why you're being called to move away things that are no longer serving you things that have run their course things that aren't emotionally satisfying you is because the universe has new big beautiful blessings okay your life is growing your life is expanding you are growing you are expanding and there's new things that are going to take the place of the old that are more in alignment with this version that you are becoming that you are now being okay so definitely let go release whatever needs to be released you already know what it is you've already been called to move you've heard the call you know what to do if you're in your head and you're indecisive make the decision to get the fuck on with your life okay keep going forward keep moving forward we do not go backwards around here so how the person that you came to the video feels about you they're coming they're coming they have immense love for you they view you as your one as their one and only they view you as their divine femme and they're going to be very romantic and charming towards you because this is the emotions you elicit and they're going to do whatever they need to do to court you and win you they view you as the prize they like the fact that there's competition right now if you're like i don't know which option to choose there's too much going on i don't want people fighting over me let go of that mentality it's a good thing it's a good thing may the best man win for real how your person feels about you when they look at you 
they feel a sense of pride that they get to say, I'm her man. They're proud to say it. They're glad to say it. This is the type of person where you're walking on the outside and they have their hand around your hips, pulling you closer, kissing you in public, okay? They're happy to do that stuff. They're proud of you. They're proud to show you off. You're a trophy to them. And this person has real serious love for you, period. This person also always wants to present their best towards you. You are of such a high standard that they're afraid of your judgment or that you're they're afraid that if they don't come correct or like come looking their best or come smelling good or come like with fresh clothes and fresh shoes that you're gonna judge them and you're not gonna like them so this person definitely does seek your approval and they want to please you in all ways like i'm seeing somebody in my third eye when they're getting ready to come see you they're like really in the mirror looking at everything this person gets a fresh haircut fresh cologne new outfit like all that stuff to come to you they want to make sure that they're coming correct so that you like them basically and that, that they stand out from all the other schmucks fighting for you. They want to be the best one. They want to be the winner. And they also feel like they don't know how you feel about them. They have no fucking clue. <laughs> They're so unsure. And honestly, that makes them want to open up and express even more. Whoever you're dealing with is a very expressive person. So this is somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve. Or they show their love through the actions that they take so just pay attention to the actions that this person takes and you're gonna know how they feel about you all right we have calling in your soulmate they're definitely attracted to you they want to run away with you they feel a lot of chemistry with you with the calling in your soulmate, they feel like you are their soulmate. They recognize it. They know. But they're like, do you know? She doesn't even know I'm her husband. They feel like one day y'all are going to get married. Or again, you guys are the end all, be all. This is how they feel about you. That one day y'all are going to get married, have your kids, and move away and just vibe in nature together <laughs> chill together and forget about the rest of the world they feel like when they're with you nothing else matters the world could go up in flames and they'll be fine because they're with you that's how they feel this could be a newer connection that we're talking about here but they definitely feel like you are fun they enjoy your company and they feel like they want to continue doing whatever you guys have been doing as well as go a little deeper. And when you kind of turn your back to this person or whenever you leave, you know what they say? What's that saying? I don't want to see you go. Hate to watch you go, but I love to watch you leave. Hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Something like that. Like when you turn you back, when you turn your back and you're walking away or maybe like when you're getting out of the car and walking to your front door or walking to your car like after you guys are done chilling after you guys are done hanging out they just feel like this rush and this surge of emotions it's as if they never want you to leave they don't want you to leave they want to just like stay with you and be with you and just hang out all day long and always be together <laughs> they feel chemistry with you they feel very connected to you and they like how right now things are more lighthearted but this person is definitely going to be upping the heat and their intention is to be very consistent with you they're not going anywhere and the the bond between the two of you will be getting deeper as you guys continue to hang out and chill and talk and all types of stuff all right this card came out reverse but it's like right now baby you have a lot of fucking options and these options are going to be fading away as you and whoever you know who it is you know who the standout option is at this time the one that you actually connect with all right you put out a call to the universe to have your soulmate to get married or have your husband come in all right and now all these people are coming in 
you are now the sifter and sorter of all these people but a lot of these people are going to begin falling away you're going to begin to stop interacting with certain individuals just not even give them the time of day anymore because there's one person here that's really who you're supposed to be you know getting it on and popping with all right so get ready to reject some folks and walk away from some folks because it's about that time so let's get some charts number four coming through somebody here it could be an aries you or the person on your mind we definitely have this coming through which is so in correlation with your picture so this person feels like you're very intuitive they feel like you're very pretty very beautiful they do view you as this sex type of <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't even say that you're a sex bunny because I don't even think that you've had sex with this person yet. But your feminine energy, the life force energy that you have flowing through you, they feel like you are going to have some bomb ass sex. If you have had sex with this person, this person is just looking at your energy like, oh my god, look at this energy. Your energy is so yummy and juicy to this person they love how feminine you are whoever you're dealing with they're like a macho macho or whoever you're gonna marry here's a hint they're going to be a macho macho <laughs> a macho man and they're just going to literally get high off your energy your energy is intoxicating to this person you keep this person on their toes so we have all these we have a mushroom here we have an avocado we have a leaf. Somebody here was born in October. They feel like you're very healthy and it shows just by your energy, your vitality, the look of your skin. You just look super duper healthy and this is so attractive. Also, they feel like you've grown or you are growing or you're helping them to grow. They love to look at your pictures. This person definitely does watch your social media. And if you guys have taken any pictures together or if this person has taken pictures of you or has pictures of you, they look at them very frequently. We have the signs of Libra and Gemini coming through. That could be your sign or theirs. These charms are for extra confirmation as well as messages. So take it how it applies to you. We have the letter F, we have S, and we have the peace sign. So definitely hippie vibes coming through here. High sexual vibes. This person loves that you're into your health. They love that shit. And the fall time is significant. So by the fall, you're definitely going to be in a full-time commitment with this person. Also, there is a need for you to, you know, let go of the old shit. Whatever the old shit is for you, everybody's going to be different. But let it all go. You don't need that. And you already know what you need to let go of. The number four is here. So four days four weeks four months things are developing things are happening here there's definitely movement within the situation and things are going to be growing and turning into more there's definitely growth within you and this person's connection they're willing to fight for you okay die for you vibes as well so thank you for watching i hope this reading was helpful if you would like more definitely join the sexy palace that's my patreon it's in the link is in the description get you a personal reading if you have any other questions that you would like answered other than that thank you for watching thank you guys for all the love that you share with me i feel it i love it i appreciate it and i'm sending all that love right back at you okay <laughs> and i will talk to you soon peace hi baby welcome to your reading i hope and intend all is well with you and those you love thank you for joining me today thank you for allowing me to read for you welcome in all my black cat energy girlies what it is baby so we're gonna go ahead and see what the person on your mind is thinking about you now you seem to be in your own little bubble at this time so i don't think that you have anybody really specific on your mind but there is somebody coming through here for you that is like where is she at you're very mysterious your last romantic interest they feel like you are super duper mysterious they can't read you they don't know anything about how you feel and they're also 
feeling like they don't really know too much about you in general you your life everything is a mystery but it's very 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 intriguing it's alluring they want to know more but there is this energy of them also being a little bit scared of you they don't know what they're getting themselves into when it comes to you there is a little tad sense of danger in the mix you are definitely a siren they view you as a siren and they just feel like they don't know if you're gonna love them or rip their head off or if they're gonna die or if you guys are gonna fall in love like they don't know but they spend a lot of time contemplating and fantasizing about all the different scenarios you definitely stay on their mind they just feel like you are an enigma they feel like you are a goddess they feel like you are distant though also very cold unbothered independent and they feel like as well you're not easily impressed you're not impressed with some of the other things that may get other women like for example especially material possessions that's what's coming through cars fancy clothes fancy watches money that's not gonna do it for you and they feel like you're so extra super duper hot because that's not what's gonna do it for you this person whoever we're channeling here whoever was on your mind they have dealt with a lot of superficial relationships as well as people who only wanted them for their material possessions or who were easily glamored by not them but what they had and at one point in their life like that was all cool and dandy but now it's seeming like them as a soul they're wanting something deeper and they feel like you are so freaking different than anybody that they've ever encountered, anybody that they've ever dealt with. The brief moments that they've shared with you, the brief encounters, they're like, whoa, who is this? Where did you come from? They have never met anybody like you. Even to this day after meeting you and maybe like moving on or things of that nature, like they just feel like there is literally nobody like you and you really are one of a kind. But again, so mysterious. They don't know what you're up to. They don't know how you feel. They can't fucking read you. And they also feel like they don't know where you are. You disappear. And whenever you disappear, they're like, where'd she go? <laughs> or what is she doing? Your absence is definitely felt. So that's how this person feels about you. I'm under the impression there's a few people who feel like this about you or this is a universal thing about how men feel about you specifically because you're very unattainable and to yourself you also have a very strong protection you don't necessarily seem to be guarded but you're just not giving yourself to every tom dick and harry okay no you don't fucking do that you're very protective over yourself over your energy over your business as well you might be very private about your business whether that's your monetary business or just your life business in general like you're not telling people everything under the sun about what you got going on like no also it's coming through that you have a very strong connection to your spirit guides and your spirit guides act as security guards or managers when it comes to who is trying to enter or access your life. We have the star here on the bottom of the deck when I split it, the star and the two of pentacles. So definitely multiple people thinking about you like this. This is the example coming through for you of, you know when there's a celebrity and then the celebrity has a manager and the celebrity also has community uh community where the fuck did that come from maybe you're a part of a community or there's a community of people thinking about you like this but you know when the celebrity has the manager and the security guards whatever 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 and let's say that a company wants to book the celebrity or wants to do something with the celebrity that company has to go through the managers and the endless people <laughs> before actually getting in the celebrity's presence or getting the celebrity to do the job right there's contracts involved there's other people to talk to you know there's this whole process that goes on 
your spirit guides are that for you this happens kind of behind the scenes but literally it's like your spirit guides don't let just anybody come through and talk to you there's a process there's a certain order and as well an access granted needed for people to even talk to you again this is more of a metaphysical thing that goes on or something that goes on behind the scenes the guides don't really let a lot of people come close to you and if you feel alone a lot that is out of protection because wherever you are whatever you're doing you don't need certain energies attaching themselves to you you also don't need friends it's good for you to walk alone the channel song for you coming through is where she goes by bad bunny i don't speak spanish i don't even know what the man is saying but <laughs> that's the channeled song and at this time you also seem to be unapproachable so let's go ahead and see how the person on your mind feels about you or really how other people i don't know i don't even know because i don't really feel like you have anybody on your mind for real i feel like you got you on your mind money on your mind your sole purpose your sole mission taking care of business your pets very private as well it's hard to get access to you it's hard but this is how men feel about you that it's hard to get access i want to say men because it's giving you're a goddess you're on a platform and everybody like or a stage a stage is a better view you're on a stage and then everybody else is kind of like lower down like watching you on the stage on the platform and they're wondering how do we get there how do we how do we appeal to this person what do we have to do to get this person to be with us or talk to us nobody knows nobody knows what is going to get your attention so let's see we have temperance very protected whoa this is a lot of cards that came through we have the devil we have the seven of pentacles uninhibited soul yeah somebody feels abandoned by you this could also be all men the fact that you just don't give your energy or you don't take the bait they just feel like what's wrong with me what did i do wrong as well as again your absence it feels like a loss you're growing at this time you're changing you're transforming you're just becoming an even better version of yourself you're working right now you don't got time for the fuckery you're very intentional about where it is you're placing your energy where you're using your time your resources you don't have time to be messing around with people who are just trying to have sex or who are into the superficial relationships you know what you want you're clear on that and you also know that your time and your energy is very valuable this is a superpower of yours babe you're on the timing of no fuck boys allowed and because you have this siren energy you do attract a lot of people who want to have sex with you but you're not open to it and then they're like what because your sexual energy is so loud multiple men feel this way about you not just one person men feel like you are definitely very tempting very sexy but you're also highly protected as well as highly protective of yourself it is very possible that you do have a cat or a pet in general it's really just you and your pet right now in life doing the damn thing men feel like you are also very focused on money they feel like how to get you is either through money or through offering sex that's the type of people that you are attracting at this time that's like all they could think about they want to offer you the physical resources and they feel like also you are like a blank canvas if you will that you could just paint anything on in the art of seduction there is another archetype siren is a very popular one but there's another one i can't remember which one it is right now 
but it actually speaks of being a blank canvas and letting your viewer project their own views onto you it's through their eyes it's not like you're actually changing it's just that this is the way that they view you and because they view you in this way like for some reason that's just what it is because you're a blank slate it's kind of like the projector method where it's like the screen and then there's a projector and then the projector projects whatever it is onto the screen this is the effect that you have on men so you're like everybody's fantasy person but everybody's fantasy is different and nobody really knows the truth about who you are men view you as very seductive because of this quality you have definitely read the art of seduction because that book is coming through heavily and if you have not read it you should definitely read it i think it's something that you're really going to enjoy they feel like you're also very quick to come very quick to go you're always here you're always there you they can't pin you down um men feel like as well that when you leave your absence is definitely felt things are not happening or growing like how they need to you are definitely people's karma you have a magical quality so when you come into people's lives they tend to get more money but then when you leave they're stuck their crops die and wither you have a protective energy so men are protected when they're with you but after you go and after you leave they're not protected anymore and they don't have that same protection and as your life continues to flourish and grow, their lives, you know, wither, okay? Men do view you as doing like some sort of black magic or voodoo. They don't understand your power. Men don't understand you. Again, very mysterious and whoever you have dealt with, it's giving mortal man vibes where they don't have spirituality or they're heavily into the 3D earth plane to the point where anything magical seems like, oh, it must be evil. And this is possibly your ex-boyfriend or somebody that you broke up with or a toxic relationship that you no longer give your energy to. This is how that specific person feels about you. They feel like you have cursed them or hexed them. Something along those lines because whenever you left their life, their life went to shit <laughs> so they're blaming you instead of taking accountability they're blaming you you're not somebody that can be restricted or tamed there's definitely energies that have tried to do that to you and their karma for that is really not too hot okay they're not doing too good but that is what i'm getting for how men feel about you not even just one person it's a lot of different energies here for your pile because you are that black cat energy you do move and slither through the nighttime, and you don't let anybody attach or catch ya you're that butterfly that keeps moving when you're a butterfly, you belong free. You don't need to be in anybody's cage, all right? We have playfulness. Yep, men do view you as a little playful. Everybody thinks you're their wife because, again, you're everybody's dream girl. All of them projecting their fantasies onto you. <laughs> um, there is definitely one specific person as well, though. Aside from the collective, there is... A masculine that gets choked up about you they don't know whether they should come towards you or not spirit is saying this is your most recent person your most recent encounter they actually do view you as their soulmate they view you as somebody that they would marry they want to marry you they view you as their other half but they don't know how you feel but this is somebody that is going to be making the effort towards you spirit is saying it is your last encounter that you had but let's see what else other details we could get about that specific individual, please. We have the Chariot and the Ace of Wands. Possibly a fire sign. We have the Lovers and we have the Five of Wands. Okay. They like when you are in your light, playful energy. This is somebody that you've been playful with before. And they want that energy again. They miss it. You have multiple options coming in for you for sure. New options. Not any past bullshit. But if 
the person that you recently were dealing with is coming they're also coming with a new energy towards you so it's not like they're coming in with the same old bullshit no they're actually coming in brand new and they intend to like really be with you as well as beat any competition that there is for you this is somebody that you did close from move on from it seems that you've definitely moved on you've moved forward with your life you've leveled up they've also leveled up so you will both be meeting each other at the same level and of course it's your decision your choice as to where this goes and what direction it takes and if you even allow this person to be romantic with you but they feel like you are their soulmates and you are the person that they want to be with and you are the person that they want to connect with they choose you you are the clear choice okay you are the standout your love life is also protected in order for you to get in a relationship with anybody or anybody to come close to you your guides run a background check okay and if things aren't up to par that person can't have access to you so your love life is definitely divinely orchestrated and divinely protected divinely looked after you have spirit guides working on your love life's behalf there is no need for you to worry and you need to know that you're not going to get hurt i know that sometimes you kind of are to yourself because you don't want anybody to hurt you nobody can hurt you you are invulnerable i'm also getting that the person that this is that wants to come towards you is the person that also thinks how we talked about in the beginning how we were talking about you're so different it's that person all right they view you as literally one of a kind oh i was gonna do charms i completely forgot it's got a few charms here these charms are either going to serve you as additional messages or as additional confirmation please take it how it resonates and applies to you we have the sign of libra and taurus coming through so your beauty definitely stands out you look really fucking good all right we also have the mermaid emoji <laughs> the mermaid emoji where did emoji come from i don't know people are also viewing you online and thinking that you are super duper gorgeous and pretty you have fans whether you know it or realize it or not you definitely have fans that really keep up with you and want to know what you're doing you have celebrity and star energy okay babe so you could be a taurus you could be a libra we have the letters c and z coming through i as well that could be your initials or somebody that you're dealing with we got the key coming through you might also want to watch pile one pile one has messages for you as well we have the key coming through oh my god no <laughs> i just heard they want to stick their key in your hole that is so fucking bad i don't even know where that came from um don't mind me <laughs> but yeah okay also you got the keys you have hidden knowledge and also in order for anybody to come into your life they need a key as well all right and those keys are not easily attainable baby i see that you are definitely going to be opening up opening up more i'm also hearing that expression when pigs fly so maybe something is unbelievable to you at this time there could be some sort of restrictions when it comes to your love life and you're like yeah when pigs fly this is gonna happen or that's gonna happen people feel like you are definitely out of this world capricorn energy is also coming through here you might have a lot of morals or you like to do things the right way or that's how men view you where they want to do things the right way towards you and you are very sexy very 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 sexy and again your energy is very protected lots of boundaries here your boundaries are definitely strong and also people want to know what is it going to take for you to open up they want to see more of you every time people see you they feel like you're very closed off or closed up people would love to see you open up more and blossom and bloom so that is what i have for you my love if you would like more definitely join the sexy palace aka my patreon or if you have any of your own personal questions get a personal reading like this video subscribe you are absolutely one of a kind thank you for watching thank you for allowing me to read for you dear leave me black hearts if you watched all the way through and all the love that all of you guys send to me i'm sending it right back at you i'm so appreciative i thank you so much it makes my day and I love you.